Hi, this is Ankur from Market XLS. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of Market XLS functions and save time when you are trading options. Uh, let me start with this option profit calculator template, which is an example of what can be built with Market XLS functions. Uh, the way this works is that you simply go to the cell and type a symbol and press enter. As soon as you do that, the system will go and gather the latest option chain below. As you can see, it has got the option chain here. As soon as you change the symbol, it will collect the new option chain for the new symbol and get the option chain as well. Once you have option chain, you can use the drop down as shown here to select various parameters of the option contracts that you are trading. Uh, the template will construct a symbol and look up the appropriate prices. You should be able to choose up to six legs for your strategy in this template. The prices and other data will be filled automatically. The charts and the numbers will update so you could make your option strategy decision. Uh, this template is completely open and password free and can be used and adjusted as per your needs. Now I'm going to show you some other functions in Market XLS, which I'm sure you'll find very useful. So let's type in a symbol and we put in a function called QM underscore get option chain and press enter. This will get the full option chain for this symbol. This option chain includes all option contracts, including the expired ones, the inactive ones, and of course the active ones. If you want to filter out the options for specific kind, you can type in another symbol and start typing equal sign QM get option chain to see various other similar option chain functions like QM option chain active, option chain monthlies, weeklies, near term and so on. Let's get the active option chain for this demo. Now what is produced in this table is a normal Excel table which you can use to put in auto filter, Excel's auto filter and filter out the option uh, that you are interested in for further analysis. Once you have these option symbols or other symbols that you are tracking, you can use these symbols to perform further analysis on them. So once you have option symbols in a column here like this, you can start constructing your own template and structure the output the way you would want to see. For example, here we will get the ask price, the bid price and the last price. There are multitude of other option specific functions that can be used with Market XLS. Now simply we start typing the function called equal sign QM, QM underscore ask and pass in the symbol QM underscore bid for bid price and QM underscore last for the last price. Once you fill in all the functions with correct references, you simply click on refresh all on the market XLS menu to refresh all the data. When you click this button, this will fill in the numbers in the cells. These data points that you see here, they may very well be real time or delayed depending on your data plan, but they are not streaming. These are the functions that we call the refresh on demand functions. That means the data is refreshed when you need and you need to click a button on the menu to get the data. To stream the real-time pricing, you can use another category of functions that are called streaming functions. For example, you can type QM underscore stream underscore last or QM underscore stream underscore ask to get the streaming prices. Now these data points will change by themselves since markets are not open right now when I'm recording this video, the numbers are not streaming but, the, but when the markets are open, these numbers are changing by themselves. Let's now look at how would you get the historical prices for individual option contracts. Uh, to get historical prices, you can simply use this function called equal sign QM underscore get history and pass in a symbol. 
that will get you the end of the day historical prices. There are other similar functions which can go back to the full life of this option contract. Now to get the intraday history in specific intervals, you can use this function called equal sign QM get intraday history 15 minutes. If you want to get the intraday history in 15 minutes interval, you may need to format the date column to reflect the correct date and time notation. And there are other functions which are similar in nature that can get you more intraday data going back up to one year or the life of the contract. Option scanner is one of the features in Market XLS that can help you scan a bunch of option contracts and figure out which ones may be the best ones to trade. So select a group of symbols and click on option scanner in utilities. A new form will open up with all option contracts for these symbols. In this interface, click on the button called show column chooser to be able to see all the fields that you can add to this interface. Simply double click on the column names to add the specific fields onto the interface. Once you have the columns, you can use the inbuilt filters to filter out the option contracts as per your strategy. You can not only use the existing uh, filters, but there are some pre-built filters which are also available like top 10. Uh, contracts for a specific metric. Option Greeks are also available in this in the list of these columns and you can add them as well. You can also stream real-time Option Greeks using Market XLS functions. Once you have filtered out the option contracts that you would like to analyze further, you can click on this button called throw filtered records in Excel and then you can simply paste these contracts onto your Excel sheet to analyze further these option contracts.